So next in 3D printing 2.0, I want to talk about food printing and I'm here with two of my uh, best friends with uh, Liz and Kyle Van Haslen who actually created the Sugar Lab and are now part of 3D Systems. And I want to talk to you about the real Iron Chef in the kitchen because yes. you know we've had lots of discussions about Iron Chef and everybody I think in the world knows about Iron Chef competitions, but mm -hmm. today we're gonna talk about the real deal. We're gonna, right. we're gonna bring into the kitchen for the first time the real Iron Chef. That's and, right. we're, and, and we're gonna start with this beautiful Chef Jet that's gonna mm -hmm. come into the market in the second half of this year. And this is the first scaled chocolate printer right. that you guys want us to mainstream and bring into that's every right candy shop, every pastry chef's restaurant, every kitchen, every event kitchen. And I want to hear your vision and I want to hear what you're doing with Chef Jet sure. and how you're going to mainstream it into everybody's kitchen. Absolutely. So Chef Jet, one of the most exciting things for us about Chef Jet is that uh, this is a whole new genre for 3D printing. So food is a whole new genre for 3D printing. And it's an amazing genre because it has so much to do with family and lifestyle and celebration. And it's so universal that it's something that everyone can really embrace 3D printing in this way. And that's something that's really exciting for us. In the community that we're going to address, pastry chefs, event planners, hotels, chocolatiers, all of these folks are super, super creative and they're going to find really exciting things to do with this printer and they're going to be able to do it because this will be the world's first and only NSF certified kitchen ready printer that can go right in a kitchen and that's really exciting. Obvious holding right now Ooh. some of the, uh, the best actually 3D printed chocolate in the world and we should actually probably do a taste test. Uh, we, really absolutely we absolutely should but you know I've never seen chocolate that had moving parts in it. I don't think exactly. there ever has been before. And you guys printed it out of this we beautiful with the chef, jet. chef jet right here and we're gonna taste it. Yeah, Would you I'll like one? one? Well, yeah. Yeah. So this is delicious milk chocolate. So folks this is the first time ever that you see anybody actually eats their 3D printables. That's right. Right here at CS historic. 2014. Historic. Cheers. So cheers. cheers. <laughs> Really good. It's amazing. I mean, the flavor is so rich, and I love the way that it melts in your mouth. Mm. Mm. That's heavenly a richness. Mm -mm -mm. This is real heavenly. Really good. Great. So at the Sugar Lab, we've developed a variety of recipes just in our home kitchen. That includes chocolate, but it also includes other candy flavors. So, so talk to us about this a little bit. Yeah. This is our candy recipe, whereas that was our chocolate recipe. Just like when you're baking, we mix different ingredients together and we put them into the printer. And then we, Chef Jet, makes this beautiful confection. So this is our candy recipe and this is sour apple flavor. It's really tart and it's really delicious and these are bright um, neon ombre colors. So they're fun, nice for dinner parties or favors for parties. It's, it's really fun. And because they're 3D printed, we can make really intricate, detailed, interlocking yeah. shapes that has never been possible with candy before. And this is just the beginning. So there are more rattly parts. So can I taste one Absolutely. of these too? Please. They're very tart. Mm. Tart these are my is good. Favorite, actually. Tart is good. Tart's my favorite. Yeah. Sour apple. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I like that one the best. Th this one really melts in your mouth, it and it kind of fills your mouth with taste. Mm -hmm. and and it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It really is amazing. It's a delicate crunch right mm -hmm. in the beginning. There's a delicate shell, and then it's a little bit chewy mm. and candy. A lot of our taste testers have told us it reminds them of cotton candy. Just a little chewiness at the end. It the makes texture. it fun mm. and candy-like. Mm -hmm. These are my favorite. All, yeah, Sour. these are really amazing. <laughs> What a way to start the day at CS 2014. Exactly. First thing in the morning. Katie. So what, what do we have here in the cases? Great. So these are some examples of other applications that you can make custom confections using Chef Jet and Chef Jet Pro. So you can do everything from 
large multi-tiered wedding cakes as you see over here. This is incredible. Yeah, so this is a three-tiered wedding cake with 3D printed sugar and candy wow. components and cake tiers in between. So the concept for this was that we started with a plate, with a traditional blue china plate, and designed the whole dessert from that plate. And because it's 3D printing, we can really customize every part and dial that in. So it's really custom, really embellished, really fun, really experimental. So we're seeing for the first time this frosting, this sugar frosting, becoming functional, a functional part of the cake. It's rigid enough to support actually the tiers of the cake, mm -hmm. which is traditionally done by ceramic, for example. So, we're really so, I'm, so I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Let me stop here right there, Kyle, <laughs> yeah. and say, do you see any... Uh, fusion between what we do with Sarah Jet and what we do with Chef Jet? Absolutely. Uh, there's so much overlap between the ceramic possibilities with Sarah Jet and the Chef Jet candy and food types. And we can really quickly imagine seeing custom sets of tea ware or desserts where um, the food that you're about to consume and the ceramic plating are both designed to complement each other. And there are just endless permutations there. We could go farther and even make really specific molds to make beautiful cake shapes um, that really complement the 3D design work of the sugar, for example. So serving sets that are inspired by the cakes Absolutely. and, and cakes that are inspired yeah. by the serving exactly. sets. Exactly. And, and, and kind of something that starts from the ground up and is a seamless, beautiful, organic design Absolutely. made for me. Absolutely, Absolutely just yeah. for you. Whatever yeah. Avi wants. I love it. When you're done with your sugar, you have a keepsake as well. That's right. <laughs> Good. Have your cake and eat it too. Have awesome. your cake and eat it too, and awesome. then print it again. Exactly. exactly. The gift that keeps on exactly. giving. Good, but we have even a bigger Iron Chef here we to do. talk about, right? Yes. This this is more of the, the, the bench top, you That's know, right. kitchen countertop unit. Exactly. I should say the countertop, not the bench top. Uh, but on the other side, we have the real pro Iron right. Chef, That's right. yeah. the Chef Jet the Pro, yeah. Yeah. the real deal. Yeah. So let's go, let's see, go it. see it. So this is the Chef Jet Pro and it is full color. So when you saw the neon ombre sour candies over there, that came out of the Chef Jet Pro. And you can print photographic quality onto any surface. It's amazing what you can do with this. We've had so much fun putting color onto all of our sugar models. We put um, some yeah, right up here. photographic florals onto some surfaces that we modeled. So those are photographs of florals, of flowers, that we just mirrored and wrapped around the surface. So any photograph you have, any pattern you love, really anything you can imagine can now go on to a beautiful cake topper or on a sugar cube or anything you can think of. So for the first time ever, we have the Chef Pro, the Chef Jet Pro, I yep. should right. say, at sub $10,000, exactly. kitchen ready. That's right. exactly. Who should get excited about bringing this Chef Jet Pro into their kitchen or into their environment? Yeah. Who would be the target audience? Every bakery in America uh, can have the Chef Jet Pro at their disposal to complement the really artistic cake work that they already do. Um, hotels, event planners, um, restaurants, uh, molecular, molecular gastronomists, yeah. chocolatiers, all of those folks in the food and event space know how to already integrate 3D printed designs into the work that they already do, but they don't have the tool for it until now. And if I don't know how to design in CAD, and I am a pastry chef, or a confectionery artist, or a professional chef, how do I get started? Tell me a little bit about our digital cookbook yes. software that could help me get started intuitively and not have to learn new tools, but harness my creativity exactly. in a way that gives me perceptual, intuitive interfaces. Exactly. Absolutely. So both the ChefJet and the ChefJet Pro will come with the digital cookbook, which is a digital design software for the non-CAD user. And it allows a chef to build incredible complexity, starting with uh, a primitive that meets their needs. So if they're looking to start a cake topper, they choose a primitive, and then they can add complexity to that. So they can build complexity very rapidly, starting with whatever food or event category 
they'd like to design a piece. Yeah, that's what's really great. This digital cookbook is available online and it's divided up, as Liz was saying, into event types. So if you know you're throwing a birthday party, you can scroll to the birthday party section of the digital cookbook, and there's gonna be a variety of shapes that are there to meet your needs already. So there might be tiaras that would fit on a cupcake or larger, cup, or larger cake toppers, and you can navigate that section of the website and then further refine your digital design to be really personalized for that event. Right. So it could have the date or your name or the event type or a logo. Or your and, face. And all of that is really simple to use.